Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Mika T here to do another quick nail art tutorial. Just something cute and quick to start the morning. Thanks for everyone tuning in. I'm going to be doing a nail with these really cute, cute fall stickers that I have. And some fusion ink. So I have my nail stick here and I'm going to use a coat of number 25 pure white hey good morning everyone thanks for stopping by I hope everyone has stopped by glitzaccessoriesandsuch.com to check out our awesome Halloween sale that we're having right now. So I'm gonna get started. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and use one coat of pure white on my nail stick. And I'm only using one coat because of my nail stick is already white. And then I'll end up going over this nail with a layer of my matte top coat. Here's my mat. Good morning. I hope everyone is having an awesome morning. The two colors of fusion ink that I'll be using will be Welcome hug and honesty. I really love blending these two colors together. You can do one color. It's still going to come out beautiful. But you always want to make sure you have your matte and your crystal clear when doing fusion ink. So you can get the best results. So here is my one layer. I'm gonna go over this with a layer of my mat and I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Lula, these stickers are on the Glitz website. So I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. Sorry about that, guys. Just adjusting my camera on the stand. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and open these stickers. These are so, so cute. So you guys can get a better view of the stickers. They are so cute. So now my mat is cured. I'm gonna go ahead and add my darker color first. That's just my preference. You can add any color you like. And if you want it darker, you can just retap over the same area. And now I'm gonna move in with my second color. Hey, chaotic colors. My second colors, welcome hugs. Make sure you guys check out the website. There's so many new things added. And we have awesome classes coming up in December. So these are my two colors. I'm gonna give it a second just to dry. And I'm going to grab my crystal clear. And always make sure you have a napkin very close to you to wipe off your excess colors so you don't bleed your ink into your crystal clear I love to give it a tapping motion because I don't want to release too much liquid where it'll completely wash away my ink. But you can also just give your brush a wipe if you have too much fluid on your brush. Hi, Nelvi love. Hello. Thanks for stopping by this morning.
make sure I zoom in so you guys can see the colors a little better. I love using my fusion ink as a background for my stickers. It just makes them pop for me. <clears throat> These two colors are so pretty. And you really don't have to add anything to it. It's beautiful just like this. You can wear this nail art just like this. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple. But if you want to clear up the background areas of some of your color, you just retap into that same spot and it'll start to clear it up where you can actually see more of your white in the background. It just all depends on the look that you're going for. Hello to everyone tuning in and stopping by with me this morning. So I am happy with this. Now I usually would add one of my most top favorite, favorite colors into my fusion, which is Golden Touch Painting Gel in a Jar. It's so pigmented, oh, so, so beautiful. Now these two colors, Welcome Hug and Honesty and Fusion Ink, they're gorgeous together. And most of the time I really can't help but to add the golden touch i think i'm gonna add the golden touch because i really love it i really really love it but i want to make this quick easy and simple for you guys i don't want to make it too consuming because just imagine if you were to get a client and they want this design on every nail you're like oh Okay. I'm trying to find my brush. Figured 
thought I'd stop and do some quick nail art before I'm on my way out the door to work. And finally trying to get settled back in from the show. I hadn't really unpacked everything. Trying to find my twin tip brush. And I have a backup one right here. Found it. This color is so, so, so pigmented. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some gold veins. It's like putting some sparkle into your veining, into your marble. So pretty. I would wear this nail just like this. Almost makes it a little hard to add stickers onto it. <clears throat> I'm happy with the veining here. Sorry guys, it gets addicting once you start. So one of my favorite things to do in nail art is fusion ink. Make sure you guys stop by the website and check out all of the newly added things. Oh, so much new 
goodies. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this into my LED lamp and cure it for 30 seconds. And then it'll be ready to add my stickers. Let me close my gel painting. And these are the stickers that I'm going to add. Well, one of these. I'm thinking about adding this really cute owl. And then, of course, I have another pack, which are these. With the little turkey and the really pretty words. I think I'm going to save that one for another nail. I couldn't really decide because I had these really beautiful butterflies. Give me one second, everyone. All right, I'm back. So now my nail, oh, now my nail is ready to add stickers. Sorry guys, you can hear my puppy babies. I haven't fed them yet. So, I'd like to go over this with a layer of my um, no wipe top coat. And now I've got to find it now. I've had it close, it's right here. My no wipe top coat. Hello to everyone tuning in with me and stopping by. I appreciate it. So like I said, I'm going to go over this with a very thin layer. Just so I can give a nice smooth layer for my stickers to add. And now I'm going to put it into my lamp and cure for 60 seconds. I love doing my layer of No Wipe Top Coat on top of my Fusion because it makes a really awesome bond for my stickers. I want to make sure that they adhere really, really good. I hope everyone has been having a blessed morning so far. I'm so happy that everyone can stop by with me this morning. I know it's pretty quick, but that's one thing that I love about nail art, that it makes it really convenient. It just doesn't take too much time out of your day, and you can still get beautiful results on your nails in whatever it is you're doing. Hi, Audrey. Hi, Artistic Pearl. 
So this is my nail here with a nice layer of my no wipe top coat over the top. And now it's ready to add stickers. When you have these handy dandy dual tip tweezers, which is what I call them, they're dual tip tweezers though, they're available on the website. I call them handy dandy because they come through for me in a lot of ways that I really didn't expect. I really love it too because there's this really nice curved dual end rubber end on it and these tweezer ends are so sharp you want to make sure you do not lose your cap <clears throat> let me look at the comments one second lunella yes i always save all of my lives love onto my IGTV. So like I was saying, I wanted to use this owl sticker right here. I think this sticker is really cute. And it's a really cute design you can do with like, it looks like Weaver Gel would be a really cute nail art design with this too. Use my rubber end and press my sticker right into my nail. And add some really cute leaves. I'll add this one right here. They're really cute. And these stickers are so soft and thin that you can layer them if you wanted to. I'm gonna add this green leaf to give it a pop of color. Then this fall leaf right on top of the other one. There we go. I think this is really cute. Now I'm going to go over this nail with a really nice layer, pretty thick layer of my no wipe top coat. Of course, you can encapsulate your stickers 
with going over it with a layer of your condensed school gel first. But with this nail art here, I'm going to just add a layer of my no wipe top coat. Thank you. Or you can go over it with matte. You can keep it matte, which makes it even cute also. You can add crystals, but I want to keep this tutorial a little short. And this is my no wipe top coat. This is super cute. Something for the Thanksgiving season coming up. Halloween is almost here. So now I'm ready to add this in my LED lamp and cure it for 60 seconds. Now with the condensed glue gel, if your client is really, really rough with their nails, I would prefer to add a bead of the condensed glue gel and then a bead of your no wipe top coat to give you an even more secure covered layer because a lot of people that may, you know, deal with a lot of chemicals or household cleaning products, cleaning a lot or make it easier for them to scratch the surfaces of their nails, then yes, I would do that. But this one is just for my nail art purposes. So even if you wanted to, you can just give it a really nice large bead of your no wipe top coat. It still gives it a really awesome, smooth layer. No wipe top coat has this beautiful diamond shine that lasts you for weeks. You don't have to worry about wiping it with alcohol or anything like that. So this is my final look for this morning. She does feel a little naked because she doesn't have any crystals. but I will save that for my next tutorial, guys. Come in with some beautiful pumpkin spice crystals and some AB. I think this is really cute for the fall season. I thank you guys so much for tuning in with me this morning. I got to get into work. Make sure you guys check out the website. And pinned down below is my code. Feel free to use it. You check out the website. See some goodies you want to get. Add it up in that cart. And don't forget, our stickers is like half off right now with our Halloween sale. Y'all got to check it out. But again, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I appreciate you guys giving your time and attention with me, Mika T. Hope everyone has a blessed, safe, and productive day. Have fun with some nail art if you got time. If not, you got some cool ideas. And I will see everyone on my next live. Bye.